adaptation is the most studied intervention for neglect in the literature. It is a technique that uses horizontally displacing prisms during reaching to reset spatial biases to the left. What happens during prism, uh, during prism adaptation is this. Under normal conditions of reaching, the, spatial, the visual spatial map that we have in our representation and the proprioceptive match that, map that we have in the world are aligned so that when the person sees an object and reaches for the object, the hand is able to go directly straight to the object. When prisms are put on, however, the visual image is shifted to the left, or to the right, excuse me. And so when the person reaches, they are actually, they reach to that visual image of the object, and of course they miss the object, because the real object is to the left. Over a course of several reaches, the individual learns to adjust the reach so that the reach now reaches the object, despite the fact that the image still looks like it's to the right. And so in this way, the proprioceptive match and the visual map are realigned with each other to allow this to happen. That's called the direct effect. Now what happens is the person removes the prism glasses and again reaches for the object. With his realigned visual and perceptual map, the reach is now made to the left of the object and the object is missed. And so the person has to once again realign the visual and perceptual maps in order to make this happen. But in neglect, what happens is this person is now lifting, reaching into the left side of space. And so the left side of space is more perceptible to that person. So now this will demonstrate the prism adaptation effect. If you can put these glasses on. <clears throat> now what I want you to do is I want you to reach underneath here for the bottle that's in front of the table. And I want you to do it several times. Okay, and come back and reach again. Okay, and reach again. And reach again. And do it again. Okay, now let's take these off and go ahead and reach for the bottle. <laughs> and you can see that when she first had the glasses on, her first reach was to the right of the bottle. But she learned in subsequent reaches how to adjust her reaching so that her hand actually contacted the real bottle. Then when we took the glasses off, her reach, first reach was to the left of the bottle because her visual and proprioceptive matches had been realigned with the prism glasses. <laughs>